Hey there, this week we're going to talk a little bit about hammer-ons and pull-offs, or the, the mechanics of getting legato playing together. Uh, I have a video that I did a couple years ago on YouTube, and I get a lot of questions uh, from people on that video saying they're not able to make the pull-off sound, uh, they're having difficulties with hand strength, all that other stuff. So what we're going to do today is we're going to address some of those questions and kind of redo that whole lesson, um, but be a little bit more direct about some of the problems people run into when they're trying to use hammer-ons and pull-offs. We're going to start with the hammer-on. And a hammer-on is where you take any note or any finger and you just hit the string hard enough to get it to sound at that fret. All right, I can do it like if I'm playing, I'm on the second string and I'm just going straight down on the string. So that's a decent exercise to get started with. It's just any of your fingers on each string Um, anyway, um, but, but the idea here is that you just want to get it to sound the note, you know, when you hammer down onto the string. You want to hammer straight onto the string. Um, if I show you a little bit more um, from this direction, you're going to kind of see that there's a certain amount of curvature to the fingers. Um, you want as much of the finger tip as you can, or the end of the finger doing the, the uh, actual articulation. Right, and you have to push down hard enough that we actually get it to sound. You can't just put your finger on there and expect it to sound out. Alright, so that's the first thing. Is the hammer on, not too hard. It's just a matter of hand strength. The only way you're going to get that hand strength is through repetition. And the other thing is people in my previous video um, from 2008 would always complain that their third and fourth fingers uh, couldn't do it. And the deal with that is just like anything else you do on the guitar, you just have to spend a lot of time you know, practicing that. Uh, one thing you can do is start on your first finger, hammer on each other finger on the same string, get used to them individually, and then start on your second finger, do the third finger and then the fourth finger, and then put your third finger down and do the fourth finger. The idea here is that you're building each of the fingers independence. You know, it's getting its own set of motor skills there. A lot of stuff we do in, in regular everyday life, we don't use these two fingers very much on their own. So when you play guitar, you have to do a little bit of uh, extra overbuilding in terms of building those motor skills and some strength and getting them to operate independently of each other. All right, so that's the hammer on. Hopefully, you know, I've, I've answered that question. Uh, as far as thumb placement goes, um, when I do real legato stuff, like that sort of deal. Um, my thumb's usually lower on the back of the neck, but never sideways. All right, this is just same as with, with all other kinds of stuff. And we'll come around here. You know, you'll see where I'm playing. Hopefully this is a good enough angle here. All right, if I bring my thumb too much over the top of the fretboard, I can do it. It definitely makes it harder though. You know, I, um, I'll play. You know, things where I'm doing a lot of bends and I'll have my thumb over the top of the fretboard. But in order to get the, the real legato stuff happening, my thumb drops down a little bit because your hand wants to work like this. Oops, that's the best. Like that, right? You know, if you have your thumb um, like that, try and make that movement happen and see how well everything articulates. You know, so just like everything else, you know, you want, you want the thumb kind of in the center of where everything's going to be. So that's the hammer on. Now the pull off is usually the hardest thing for a lot of people in that they think that the pull off when you do the hammer on the pull off is just taking your finger off all right and that's not going to sound too much usually a pull off you're actually pulling down a little bit because so what the pull off is it's actually picking the string so I, you know if i'm here on four and i want to pull off to one my first finger on that third string i have to pull down a little bit so i can get you another good angle here so it's down, so I'm on the string, and when I pull down, it's actually plucking the string. If you come straight off the string, it's not actually going to move the string for you. And that's the problem. People always go hat down, and they take the finger off, and they're like, why is my hammer on, or my pull-off so weak? And it's because you're not actually picking the string with the finger. Alright, so I can go up with hammer-ons, 
and then down with pull-offs, right? No picking going on here. Here's my other hand for proof. <laughs> All right, and the idea is that, you know, you want to build the strength and independence on each of these fingers. All right, but <clears throat> it takes a while. You know, I'm not, you're not going to watch this video and then suddenly be able to do all of this uh, as fast as you want to do. So in terms of practicing the basic legato stuff, it's just a matter of doing a lot of basic exercises. And in the, the, um, the my website version of this lesson, where this video will be linked to, uh, I'm going to have some legato exercises written out for you that you can download. And I'll even put the old video in there and some of the other stuff. There'll be, there'll be three or four videos maybe and some other stuff uh, to give you some things to work on with this. But the idea, basically, remember, hammer on is hard, straight down on the string. Use the fingertip as much as possible. Don't let the joint collapse like this. If you're doing that, that's all you're doing is you're going to get a chord. You know, if you want to get one note really loud, Keep it arched and play on the fingertip as much as you can. All right, so that's the first thing. The next thing is that uh, you have to remember that a hammer-on or a pull-off is just uh, another way of articulating a phrase or uh, the movement from one note to another, and it needs to be in time. So here's where I do my usual thing where I uh, make people play with the metronome. <laughs> All right, and a basic exercise that I'm going to give you, and I'll get my metronome up here and work in. Uh, we're going to set the metronome to 60, well, about 60 beats a minute. Hopefully you can hear that. Let's turn it up. And we'll just do the everyone's favorite. Um, one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. Just in time with the metronome. So we're doing one note per, and you can pick the first of each group of four if it makes it easier for you. So just hammer-ons, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. All right, so that's the first thing. And then next thing you do is do eighth notes. One and two, so two, two, uh, two notes per, uh, per clef. used to doing this articulation in time. Guitar players have a habit of taking any technique, whether it's hammer-ons, pull-offs, bends, and they play the technique as opposed to playing musical phrases with it. So any idea that the, there's a, a rhythm going through a melody whenever they hit one of these articulations goes away. It's just how fast can I do that as opposed to actually playing the melody like you would on a horn or, or any other musical instrument where you'd have a, a slur um, you know, or any kind of legato playing. All right, so that, that's the deal with that. So on the web page for this, there's going to be a bunch of additional material for you. Um, the link will be at the bottom of the video and pretty much all the places I post this. Uh, if not, go to mwglforums.com. Uh,